Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we are removing our ASI Master from our S1200 series PLC and replacing that, as it says on the title, a Profibus DP Master. So why are we doing that? Because I want to uh, add additional units in my ASI network, which is a DP Link Advance. It is a very cool device that I am going to be uh, reviewing in a uh, next video. So we can have a look at what it does. It's really, really good for really managing your ASI network and finding out the fault find, uh, faults and things like that. It's basically, it's a cool device, which we're gonna be talking about in the next video. And the reason we are, uh, um, not the reason, the unit we are going to be using actually has profi bus communications for it rather than Ethernet. There's Ethernet device, the internet version out of it, but we are going to be using the profi bus uh, version of it, so which will give us a chance to check out profi bus DP Master, which is our, for our controller. There's a profi bus uh, DP Slave as well. That's probably going to be covering out in our upcoming future videos how that works. But for today, we're doing just Profibus DP Master. And first, we're going to check out this cable in here, which is a Profibus cable. Siemens as well. And a couple of things I want to point out, as you can see down there, that cable, yeah, looks like that. It's roughly about just over one meter. And there is, if you don't know already, a general rule that all profit bus cables should be no shorter than one meter. And reason behind it, in short words, is to do with a reflection between devices and communications. So uh, if the cable is uh, shorter than one meter, is, is, it has a higher chance of having a reflection, so uh, which we, we can disrupt your communications. And that's something we don't want to happen. So try to stick to one meter rule, and that's why you always, most often will see in the panels that the cable, a, the devices are sitting right next to each other, but the cable is a loop like that, purely because of that reason. Another thing is, as you can see in here, I have a, uh, a programming port there. That port should not be used for spurring off your uh, profi bus. Uh, that port should be only used for a uh, programming, uh, connecting and uh, for connecting your programming devices to fault find or whatever else you're trying to do. Not to be used for spurring off and using it on another device. Doesn't mean you cannot do it. <laughs> But Siemens strongly suggests you not do that. Just use the spurring uh, that is uh, made from point to point in here, right under underneath, right in here. And also one more thing you gotta check with Al is uh, the switches here in the back. If you are going from one point to uh, one point to the uh, well, those switches are called uh, bus terminators. So uh, if you're going for like me from one point to another point, so the first uh, device always should be on. The switch should be on because that's the first uh, device. And the next device, if you're going to uh, to the next device and plan to spur off to the next one, you need to uh, push the button into off. So you can understand, you understand so you need to communicate uh, the communication goes further than that point. So don't forget to do that if you're using more than two devices. So we are going to be using from one point to another point. So we're going to be both ends will be on on. So yes, that's what we can do today. We're going to check out how to set uh, our Profi bus up, Profi bus DP master up in our a uh, uh, in our TR portal. And we're also going to uh, establish communications with our uh, DP uh, ASI Link Advanced. And also we're going to be uh, setting up all the, the ones the previous in the previous videos. If you haven't watched it, we set up all our uh, the uh, ASI uh, units, uh, field units in, uh, in the previous videos. We're going to have to reconfigure them to work for, with our new advanced unit down there. So that's what we're doing today. So all the rate videos and manuals that everything I believe will benefit you away is in the description below. And don't forget to check out the uh what's it called the playlist where all these videos end up there's a whole lot of things we are trialing and there's a whole lot of things still coming up so check it out so without further ado let's get started <laughs> Yeah, before we get uh, crack on with the actual TI portal, I'll quickly have a look at the device itself. As you can see, it's plugged onto my uh, uh, S400 series PLC. Eh, nothing, there's a, you, you got your uh, status lights in here. If you wish to have a look at it, there's a run stop and or error. And there's also diagnostics light right down there. And you have as well the 24 volt DC supplies, what you need to put 
make sure this is one of the one of the few cars that does require is on DC supply. So that's going in on top, and right here in the bottom you have uh, just a plug where you plug in your Profibus cable, and as you can see, that one's down there, going to my ASI uh, Advanced a unit down there, which you're going to be checking out in the next video. So now, let's jump on a uh, TR portal, and let's see how to get this guy going. So, here we are. So, uh, what are we going to do? I loaded in my previous project, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to start setting up from the scratch. So, let's remove our... Uh, ASI uh, card, so here we go, so you're going to remove that and add our Profi bus card once it deletes it. There you go, that's done. So from there on, go into your hardware and uh, best if, if you, what I always do, I just type in my part number, so that's what I'm going to do now. Here it is, I entered only my uh, uh, first six digits because I know there is uh, nothing really coming close to these numbers so here we go we found out that one so it's pretty much showing you where to add it as well so let's drag it and put in here and that's pretty much it is ready to go so uh, it's not much really near so apart from your address so you can see my address is going to be two for communications so and uh, so yeah that's what we need to know on uh, this uh, window of course, there is uh, more. You can go in general. You can there's a uh, project information if you want to edit it, and then uh, uh, you can identification, maintenance, installation date, plan, plan designation, location, and things like that. So yeah, this is where you can add your information. That's for us. We don't really need to do much in here. So uh, next one, we need to go on a network view. As we are networkers, you can see I have, because I've removed my ASI uh, master and now we added profit buzz. These guys are in here uh, at the moment on their own, so we are going to fix that. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to add uh, the DP link, uh, as, uh, DP ISI link advanced now. So we're going to go into a catalog and we're going to edit uh, the part number of that device. Here we are, we found our device. So yeah, it's the easiest, me, it's the easiest way again. So just enter the power number and I'll find it for you. Exactly what you're looking for. So there's no issues when you're setting yourself up. As you can see, it says, it says down there, it is not being assigned. So let's don't drag that close. So, uh, so uh, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna drag and, oh, here we go. And connect this guy to our a uh, profit bus. And that's pretty much how you establish the communication. So once it's here we go, so it's already assigned. It says I'm talking to this guy now. Happy days. So we're gonna click onto that one, and uh, we are in a proper. No, that one. This one in here. In properties, and obviously we need to set up address. And as you can see, the TI port already knows the the address is being used and which one's not. So we we'll assign it automatically address three, and we're going to be assigning. And we need to make sure that we assign that address to a uh, uh, to our a uh, ASI uh, link advance as well as three. We're going to do that in, in the next uh, video. Sending it with all the IOs, uh, possible IOs for a all the all the uh, field units, uh, ASI units we're gonna be adding. So uh, so that is uh, that. So, and only thing is left now and here, we need to connect this guy to this one. So everything is start talking again. And there's one more thing that has been added to the system, which we are gonna have a separate video for. And let me add that as well, before we load all the configurations in our device. Here we go, so there's our device. So we're gonna be checking this device out again in the upcoming video. This is basically we're gonna be talking about Siemens ASI cables and uh, how to create, how to work with this specific device. But that's again for a different video. So come on, add in. Here we are, so uh, we put that one in here and we're gonna drag that one, make sure we connect up to that one. So let's check out this guy's address is one we are programmed that to be three why is it we don't have three available so what's this uh sorry this is uh address two and I, oh you made some changes so it looks like when 
we don't want that so let's change that one to uh, actually we need to change that we don't want anything just just here we go so we're gonna change that to I just delete that one just put back back that back back on there let me sort my addresses out and we'll be back here we are that's done so here's address one two and a three so once we've done that so basically all works out now this uh, a, uh, a profi bus will be communicating we are a uh, link advanced and link advanced will be managing uh, to communicate with all these guys and manage them as well for form finding we are checking out the link advanced in the next video so once we've done that uh, it's quite simple just click on the plc and load all the configurations in through the plc so uh, let's find our address so you can see CEC is already the card in there for the profit bus, but we need a PLC. There you go, find that. So let's load that. Come on, all right, let's pause now. There we are, so uh, let's click load. So now he's gonna be pumping all that into the controller and if all went well all our systems should be green and happy with no faults so let's go and check of that out so here we are so as you can see uh, i have no errors everything is singing down so this guy is communicating with this guy so i uh, pretty much give you as well so from full finding perspectives if any of these devices will disappear which we're going to do right in here we're going to remove it as you can see, my, we're going to be checking this guy out as well. And uh, as you can see, all my profi uh, bus network is going all in error. And my PLC is saying, I have error. Hello, I have a problem. And this is where this guy is becoming your best friend when these problems do happen. And for that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be checking out the next video. Let's put that back in because this guy in here, if you have too many devices on your network, will help you out immensely so and there you go it really says our slave found we will check that out in the next video so yes that's profi bus uh, dp master hopefully this is giving you going to understand how to get yourself set, set up and of course this, this this device is for the next but just giving you a general idea how to get your stuff at and uh, started and how we are establishing this communication with this guy so yeah thank you very much for watching if you like the video don't forget that smash that like and do subscribe if you're new to the channel as uh if course you want to support us in any possible way so yeah any questions things i do ask in the comment section below and i'll answer them as soon and as quick as and as accurate as i can thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next video